Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to WG Danger Zone. And um, before we get into the show, normally I would be all happy and excited to call the show, but we have to kick this off with some bad news. Um, for the last 10 years, the owner of WG has been Spree, for those who don't know, and he felt like he should be stepping down. So he officially sold the company and... WG is now under ownership of none other than the man we all hate, Andre McAllister. I think this is a terrible decision. Nobody likes Andre, but there's nothing we can do about it now because Andre McAllister is now the owner of WGE. And I hope this doesn't stop us from having a good show, but yeah, here's the bad news. Andre McAllister is the new owner of WGE. Well, there's Bobby Page getting ready for a battle royal coming up. Wait a second! Tay Andrews! As we know throughout the last few weeks, Tay and Bobby have been having problems. Both of these men are set to be in this match. But Tay Andrews wasted no time. Here's what's supposed to be happening right now. A six-man battle royal, but from the looks of it, it doesn't look like Bobby Page is going to be lasting too long in this battle royal. Remember Bobby Page... He's been going after Tay. He's been going after his friends. The match has begun and Bobby Page is eliminated. Tay Andrews. Set a target. And has eliminated Bobby Page. And Bobby Page will not be challenging Suicide Bliss at WrestleMania. And look at this. We got some people looking for opportunities here. Look at Danny Sullivan. Still unclear what he's doing at WrestleMania. You can't have a WrestleMania without Danny. You got J.O., former YouTube champion in his own right. I'm pretty sure he was the first ever YouTube champion. Oh, God, nice knee, though, by Danny. And, you know, there's also P-Dub and Americo looking for some opportunities. Americo, especially. That man has never gotten anything, and J.O. is eliminated. Thanks for coming. J.O. and Bobby Page have been eliminated. Tay Andrews, also a former YouTube champion. This is anyone ball here. Day and Danny taking down Americo. Americo got an upset victory over Jack Saban to qualify for this match. Canadian destroyed by P-Dub. You know, P-Dub. Danny obviously going to have a target on him. P-Dub defeated Danny Sullivan er, uh, last week. And Danny obviously making P-Dub a target. And Danny just taking out everyone. Imagine we get a WrestleMania rematch between Danny and Bliss. The five-star match of the year they had uh, last year for the Burner Skull title. I bet Bliss would want nothing more than to get revenge on Danny. It happened last year. But Pete um, doesn't care what anyone wants. He's doing this for himself, taking out everybody that moves. Look at that. Trouble in paradise on Danny. And Pete um, throws a Mariko. And look at this, looking for the devil inside on Tay Andrews, Pete up. Very impressive here, he's got Andrews over. And Pete up's gonna eliminate Tay Andrews. We're down to the final three, Americo, Pete up, and Danny Sullivan. Oh, Pete up. You know, runs at him. Look at this. Oh! And all that momentum Pete up had just came crashing down with a code breaker out of nowhere. And Pete up has been eliminated. And Danny Sullivan and Americo are the final two. And Americo somehow pulled this off. It's very unlikely, but. What's more dangerous than Danny Sullivan? Danny Sullivan currently, you know, he's he's unsure what he'll be doing at WrestleMania. You know, last year he was the headline. And there's Suicide Bliss. You know, Bliss has to be a little happy in a way. Because it, it looks like Danny's got it in the bag. Wait a second. Americo fighting back. He doesn't care about Danny. That took Danny back a little bit. Look at this. Americo, oh, wait a second, Americo, 
Wait, wait, wait! Oh! A standing Spanish fly from America? What is this? What is this? America! A curb stop by Didi! What? Wait a second! America has won the Battle Royal! Are you serious? America has done it! America will be challenging Suicide Bliss at WrestleMania! Are you kidding me? This had to have been the least expected pick to win this, right? What is this? Danny had that in the bag, then got overconfident. And America just pulled out these insane moves. And now he's going to WrestleMania. Something's up. Wait a second. That's not America. That's Christian Gunn. The president was under the mask. Christian Gunn snuck into the match dressed as America. And I think it's clear now. Christian Gunn will be facing Suicide Bliss at WrestleMania. Gunn has been begging for a rematch since Christmas Chaos. And it looks like he's finally going to get it at WrestleMania. Christian Gunn has won the Battle Royal. But uh, while Christian Gunn celebrates, let's turn our attention to a no-holds-barred match. Logan X looking to get his hands on some gold once again. He defeated almost everyone in his path ever since he took that mask off. You know, he's been a changed man. Equally as dangerous, if not more. You know, ever since Logan X has been freely being himself, taking off the mask, he's been basically unstoppable. And he looks to defeat Prime Greg. Remember, Prime Greg made his return at the Royal Rumble in an insane return that nobody seen coming. You know, Logan X also some revenge here on the mind of the former world champion because for those who don't know, two years ago at Money in the Bank, Prime Greg defeated Logan X in a very good match, but you know, that still is in the back of the head of Logan X because he had Greg beat. You know, 2022 Prime Greg was just different. He just had to be there. Uh, Logan X, I don't think he's been world champion. Uh, in like three years. Remember 2021, that man was unstoppable. He thought he was dangerous now. 2021 was a different, it was a different breed. You know, Logan X, he defeated MV to win this number one contenders match. MV was robbed by Cody Cobain. But you know, Logan X, really wants his hands on some gold once again it's been a while but i don't think this man is gonna just lay down for him quite possibly the leader of interpol now if you think about it the world champion prime greg great to see him back so what a career this man has had it just didn't seem right without him and now that he's back He's been having a pretty good run as champion. You know, he's not backed down from anyone or anything. Hell, Ryan G, and he looks to add Logan X to the list. You know, Prime Greg, two-time Burden Skull champion, I think. Two times? Maybe three times? I, I believe it's a two-time champ. But Prime Greg, arguably the greatest Burning Skull champion of all time. The run this man had two years ago was top notch. I don't think anyone was able to top that. Except maybe Danny Sullivan. But Prime Greg. Looks to take down Logan X and head into WrestleMania as the Burning Skull champion. But it's gonna take a lot and this match has begun. And Prime Greg. Going outside the ring. This is no holds barred. And Prime Greg gonna waste no time. Look at this. With a kendo stick in hand. 
And why would he do that? Logan X was looking right at him. Logan X seen that coming. And now Logan X has the kendo stick. Oh, or does he? Prime Greg. Oh! Now just repeated blows. And a nice STO. On Prime Greg. And Greg goes into the corner. Oh, look at that. A splash by Logan X. Elbow drop! And early on, Prime Greg is cut open, and Logan X sees that, and he wants to add salt to the wound. Repeated punches right where that, right where his face got busted open. Logan X, suplex coming. Maybe not. Prime Greg slips out of it in a chop block, taking down Logan X. And look at this. That move is so impressive. Prime Greg. Look at this, Northern Lights suplex on the former champion, and Logan X kicking out. Prime Greg just staying on the offensive here. Nice standing moonsault, Prime Greg, one of the best to ever do it here, can't deny that. And Prime Greg bringing a fight to Logan X, did Logan X see this coming? Look at this, like how do you even do that? And Prime Greg's not done yet, and a ripcord knee! And Logan X might be out of it. But he's not. Kick out at two. Prime Greg can't give up this momentum. Oh. Logan X is stunned. Prime Greg. Oh. Springboard clothesline. Logan X is down. And Prime Greg going to grab some more toys. Wait. Logan X was right there saw an opportunity and he dove for it and Logan X may have just taken momentum in his favor He's taking him going to the ramp oh a body slam on that solid steel and Logan X oh misses the big boot and oh a hip toss and Greg with a drop kick to the head. Prime Greg is just so good. Prime Greg. Oh no, not on the outside. Canadian Destroyer on the outside of the ring. Logan X might be knocked out. Prime Greg needs to get Logan X back into the ring ASAP. Logan X is out of it. The Canadian Destroyer. Prime Greg. Taking too much time, he's got to pin him now. And maybe with all that time wasted getting him into the ring, Logan X had just, uh, he just had enough time to kick out. But this gives Greg a huge advantage. It does it. Logan X not backing down, taking down Greg. Greg's back up. Oh, clothesline. And Logan X to the top rope. We barely see this man going high risk. And look at this from Logan X. That's incredible. And again with that pump kick. To the outside. Logan X. Look at this springboard. Seeing new moves from Logan X being pulled out here tonight to the top rope again. And Logan X cross body to the outside. And Logan X is feeling it now. Keep thinking here. Got the chair. Oh, right over the skull. And doing more and more damage to Prime Greg's head. Back into the ring we go. Putting the chair down. I'll throw Greg back in. And oh, maybe he gave Greg enough time to recover. Lumbar check from out of nowhere. And Prime Greg has the chair. And now going crazy on Logan X. This is what you have to do. Prime Greg destroying Logan X with that chair. Oh my god. 
He's obliterating the man. The chair is bent. There's no use for that chair anymore. But Prime Greg took the advantage and he looks to add the finishing touches. Logan X, paying him a sunrise. Logan X is down and Prime Greg, no, no. Logan X kicks out at two. And it's starting to sink in. Did Prime Greg get too confident here? Logan X just gets up from everything. Back into the ring. Snapmare and Prime Greg. I can't let the momentum go to waste, but like, what else do you do here? Setting up the table in the corner. The Logan X is back up. What a knee to the face. Prime Greg's down. Wait, what the hell? That's Ryan G! That's Ryan G! What's he doing here? Ryan G, as we know, was kicked from Interpol at Rising Sun, and now he's trying to help Greg? Is this is this Ryan G trying to get back into Interpol? Well, I hope it was worth it, because he just pissed off Logan X. I'd rather not be in the group than have that happen. And a reckoning for Ryan G's troubles. Logan X gonna dispose of Ryan G. Ryan G's out of here. And Prime Greg still down that distraction from Ryan. Meant nothing. Look at this. Uranagi and Logan X. Logan X. Reckoning on Prime Greg. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What now? The mutant! What's he doing here? First Ryan G, now the mutant? What is this? Oh my god! Why? Oh no! The table! Prime Greg set up! And oh god! What is the mutant doing? And now! Apocalypse on Logan X. What is going on? And he's going to do it again. And it's no holds barred. All the referee can do is just sit here and watch. What is going on? First Ryan G, now the mutant. Oh my God, what is this? Power bomb onto the announce table. Oh no. And he's gonna throw him back into the ring. Logan X is down. Prime Greg's back up. Not this way. Not this way. Prime Greg retains. With help from Ryan G and the mutants. Prime Greg has retained his Burning Star Championship. Why? Well, this was an amazing match, but come on. Prime Greg retains. What a war this was between these two men. Oh, man. What a disappointing finish, though. Well, finally some good news for Interpol because, um... It hasn't been the best night for Interpol because, as we know earlier, Danny just lost the Battle Royal. But here's a look at what happened on the pre-show. MV wanted to get revenge on Cody for making him lose to Logan X. So he challenged Cody Cobain before the show started in a pretty good match. But this is where things would all come crashing down. Cody Cobain thought he had the momentum, but uh, MV would dodge that clothesline. He hit a phenomenal forearm on Cody. And to add the final nail in the coffin, he land a Styles Clash on the Megastar getting a much needed win taking down Cody Cobain MV getting a dub on the pre-show you know, here's him celebrating but coming up next um, 
It was originally supposed to be a tag team match with Izzy Austin and Hazel taking on Emerson and Bullseye, but for whatever reason, Hazel said she won't be here. Um, some believe it's a undisclosed injury or sickness, something, but nobody has seen Hazel in the arena. I haven't. Izzy Austin hasn't, but that doesn't mean the women's champion is just going to back down. She's going to be facing Emerson and Bullseye all by herself. And, you know, I wouldn't put it past Izzy Austin, you know. One of the best we have in this company. I was really looking forward to the super team between Izzy and uh, Hazel, though. So that's pretty sad to see. But here's Emerson looking for revenge. Remember, she lost her title at the Royal Rumble because Izzy Austin won the... Uh, I'm pretty sure Izzy Austin eliminated her. Um, Bullseye, you know, she's had problems with Izzy and mostly Hazel throughout the last few months. Yeah. Is Izzy Austin getting herself into too much trouble? Should she have just forfeited? Because I don't think anyone would be against it. Because Emerson and Bullseye together is pretty pretty threatening. You know, that's what we were supposed to see. But instead we're getting Izzy Austin versus Bullseye and Emerson. Let's get this match underway. Best of luck to Izzy Austin. And Izzy Austin wasting no time. Izzy Austin, look at this, just taking on both of them at the same time. Insiguri on Bullseye, Bullseye's out of the picture. And now Izzy Austin can turn all of her attention on Emerson without having to worry about Bullseye. Never mind, she's right there. But look at this, Izzy Austin. Super fast, look at this, Izzy. Look at this, a 619 on Emerson. And look at this. To the other side. Takes out Bullseye. Izzy Austin. Jumps over Emerson. And look at this. A backbreaker on Emerson. And Izzy Austin is going crazy right now. Emerson kicks out, but... How about Izzy Austin? I wasn't expecting this. You know, I was expecting a good fight, but... Man... Izzy Austin's going crazy here. Look at this. Now showboating here. Confidence is through the roof if you're willing to taunt in a two-on-one handicap match. Bullseye makes the tag. I don't think Izzy noticed. Oh, no. And I think momentum has just shifted since Emerson made that tag. Or has it? Oh, man. Into the corner. Look at that. And now the double team. See if Izzy had some help. She could have tagged out or something by now. But look at Bullseye having her way with the women's champion. Tag to, tag to Emerson. Izzy Austin stunned. Drop kick. This isn't looking great at all. All that momentum Izzy had down the drain. And this ain't looking great. Back in the corner goes Izzy. Tag the bullseye. And a double super kick. Oh, man. Oh, Izzy sends bullseye over the top rope. And taking out Bullseye again. And here comes Emerson. Distracting Izzy. But Emerson gets taken out. But Bullseye from behind with a roll up. Oh, kick out at one. Oh, Izzy. Look at this. Oh, fairy tale ending. Oh, Bullseye kicks out. Bullseye's back to her feet, but so is Izzy. Look at this. Z360. Oh, Emerson's back. Oh, man. Gotta think that could have been the finish. Oh, no. 
Oh no! Oh no! Oh, wait a second! She's here! Hazel's here! And perfect timing at that! Izzy Austin could have needed the help, but Hazel is finally here! And you gotta feel some relief for Izzy Austin. Finally has a partner. Oh, wait a second, what? What is this? Hazel! What is going on? What the hell? Hazel! Oh no! Plants Izzy Austin! What is going on? It was supposed to be a tag team match and it's now turned into a three on one! Emerson now gonna capitalize! Spear on Izzy Austin! And Emerson and Bullseye win with help from Hazel. What is going on? I mean, should have known not to trust Hazel, but come on. Siding with Emerson and Bullseye after all them times Izzy Austin helped you? That's messed up. Emerson and Bullseye get the win. All with help from what seems to be their new friend Hazel. This is messed up. Wow. That's... It's terrible. There's Ryan G. You know, he got pretty... He got beat up out there. <laughs> it looks like he's leaving. Oh, wait a second. Well, would you look at that? Ryan G is back in Interpol. Great news, more great news for Interpol. Welcome back, Ryan G. Well, coming up next, the Elite Carter defends his model championship. Carter looks to head into WrestleMania's multiversal champion. Wait a second, that's Dodger Boy. <coughs> And Dodger Boy beating the hell out of the Elite Carter. RKO! On the floor! What is Dodger doing? As we know throughout the last few weeks, Dodger and Carter have been having problems. Remember, Carter spoiled his debut. And it looks like Carter is getting... Is getting the... Uh, getting a receipt here from Dodger Boy. Remember, Nuzback deep beating Dodger is what led to Nuzback believing he deserved a shot at the multiversal title. So this is basically full circle here. But Dodger with another RKO! And listen to this crowd, they're saying one more time. Is Dodger going to follow through? It looks like Dodger's going to give the crowd what they want. Dodger boy setting up Carter for a third RKO! And Dodger Boy. And now he's out of here. Carter has to be regretting those attacks on Dodger. Oh no, here comes Nuzback. Oh, wait a second. Nuzback. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, what? Carter never stood a chance. Dodger with the RKO's. The three RKO's and Nuzback just came in and stole it. Nuzback is your new multiversal champion. Oh man, there's Kel. Is he is he the first man in line for that multiversal title? Jordan King, remember these two had an amazing match a couple weeks ago, but it ended in a draw. What are they saying to each other? I don't think the camera cameraman was picking anything up there, but Jordan King definitely said something. No, 
Here comes Jish. And uh, one of his biggest rivals here in WGE, his former protege, Jish looks to take the global title from Cameron Crude, the leader of the ministry. You know, Jish said he doesn't want help. Said he's been waiting to get his hands on Crude one on one. You know, last year they went at it. Crude defeated Jish, threw him off of a legend, threw a spotlight. That was messed up. You know. Cameron Crude with a lot of a, a lot of stuff to prove here, you know. Jish still doesn't think Crude was ready for the big stage. Remember, he was nothing more than just a lackey for Jish for the early stages of his career, and Cameron Crude broke out to be arguably a better star than Jish currently. So Jish is looking to prove tonight. He looks to humble Cameron Crude, I guess you can say. But Cameron Crude. What a rise this man has had from being a glorified lackey to uh, being a global champion, TikTok champion. You know, this man, really great talent here in WG. Just definitely made a great choice to bring this man here. You know, obviously he regrets it now because of the hatred these two have. Just arguably Cameron Crude's biggest rival. And tonight, Cameron Crude has the chance to finally silence Jish. He, get, he has the chance to head into WrestleMania as a champion. And I don't think Cameron Crude will want nothing more. But I can assure you we're going to get a good fight between these two. Two rivals, both hungry for opportunities. Both desperately want that global title. Cameron Crude wants to keep it. Jish wants to get a hold of it. Jish, a former global champion in his own right. He had a great run with that a couple years ago. Look at this. They're already just talking. A bunch of trash talk. And here we go. Look at these counters. These two know each other so well. But Cameron Crude, never mind. It looked like, oh, maybe Crude just took the upper hand there. And Crude. You do not want to give Cameron Crude an opening, and I think Jish knows that. But what can you do when there's 200 pounds running at you with that tackle, and Cameron Crude has to keep Jish grounded here. Crude, look at this! Throwing Jish up in the air, punching him right in the face. Here's a cover. Jish kicking out early. Jish has a lot of fight left. Jish fighting back. Headbutt by Jish. And here comes Jish. Oh, Cameron Crude fights back. And it's Crude. Crude just with an answer for everything here. Look at that. When do you see Jish get ragdolled like that? And when do you see Jish kick up like that? Look at Jish. Has Crude up. Fireman's carrying. Planning him. Cover on Cameron Crude. Crude kicks out. Remember, Cameron Crude defeated Enigma at Rising Sun in a five-star match to win the global title. You guys never, if you guys didn't see that match, you guys should definitely check it out. That match was really fun. But right now, Jish. Oh, misses that knee, and it's Crude rolling him up here. And Jish kicking out at two. It looked like Crude had him there. Jish with these kickups. What is this? But Cameron Crude. Maybe Jish regrets that kick up because Cameron Crude's getting fired up here. Crude. Bringing Jish up. And a nice suplex. And it has been mostly all Cameron Crude here. He's going to lift Jish up. This takes crazy strength and Cameron Crude making it look easy. And oh, nice counter by Jish. Just ducked that super kick and with a super kick of his own. Super kick on Crude. Oh, Cameron Crude kicks out. Just barely though. But what an opening for Jish. Jish needs to follow up here. Look at Jish. Cameron Crude moves out the way. Close line take it down, Jish. And look at Crude. Oh 
man, look at this. We just seen Jish do that move. Mentor, a protege learning moves off of his mentor. Jish gonna have to roll out, take a breather here. I don't think Jish expected this from Cameron Crude. Cameron Crude is all over him here. And Crude. Heading into the ring, going to the top rope. Crude. Tell him just to get up. And Crude. Oh, just caught him. Look at the strength. Now on his shoulder. Oh. Shoulder breaker by Jish. Oh. Crude kicks out, but Jish. Looking to take advantage. Flapjack on Cameron Crude and Jish. And Jish is getting fired up now. Much needed for Jish here. Planning Cameron Crude. This is what Jish needs. It's been all crude for the most part. Jish. Oh, he missed the knee. And Crude. With that spinning roundhouse, may have just knocked Jish out. Covers made. Oh, Jish kicks out at two. Thought Crude had him there. Jish again rolled out. Cameron Crude, man. Oh, and Crude just. Just knock Jish to the ground. And Cameron Crude might be setting up here for the end. Oh, wait. Oh, Jish. I think he went to counter. Accidentally hit the ref. Did he team by Jish? But there's no referee. There's no referee. Oh, no. A coincidence, the ref is down, and here's Cabal. But I don't, I don't think Jish wanted his help. Wait, what the hell? What the hell? Cabal! A choke slam on Jish! Are you kidding me? What is going on? Cabal just choke slammed Jish! Wait, oh my god, the knee! Cameron Crude! What is this? The referee's back! No way! And Cameron Crude has retained! Cameron Crude's just gonna take a win like that? Cabal just turned his back on Jish and Cameron Crude just took the easy way out! What is this? What the hell? Cameron Crude retains with help from his former ministry partner, the ball. And I'm getting some messages backstage. We got some reporters showing that something's going on backstage. Adam Alexander! Oh my god! Adam Alexander just got thrown off a ledge! And there's Kid Polo laid out. Is this Cabal's doing? What is going on? And speaking of backstage brawls, here's what happened before the show even began. There was no attendance, no nothing. We seen a four-way brawl between four rivals, Tommy Wilson and Cameron Chaos, and Egg and George. And, you know, we got to take our minds off of all this because we're going into our main event. Jaden Javelin versus his brother Jacob Javelin for the WG title coming up next. You know, it's almost like betrayal is such a common thing here in WG. We just seen Cabal betray his ministry brothers. Eggsy and George were just tag team champions. Now they're rivals. And Jaden Javelin, you know, once he made his return, he started aligning himself with Jacob, but it, it seems like that was just using Jacob to get closer to the world title picture. 
But tonight is Jada Javelin's opportunity to finally win a world title and finally defeat his brother. You know, they fought last year and Jacob Javelin absolutely destroyed Jaden. So Jaden looks to get revenge. You know, Jaden Javelin has basically said ever since he's aligned himself with his brother, Jacob has just been holding him down and Jaden has been having to pay for his concept for Jacob's actions. You know, you know Jaden helps Jacob defeat Danny at Royal Rumble. The week later, Danny defeats Jaden. Six man tag happens with uh, P Dub, Jacob, and Jaden. And Jaden has to take the pin because P Dub and Jacob were busy fighting on the outside. So you gotta kinda understand Jaden's reasoning, but facing Jacob Javelin, that's not a smart choice. Pissing Jacob Javelin off, you would think even like his the brothers, you'd think he would know the most not to mess with him. Jaden Javelin really bold here. Looks to take down the unde unbeatable champion, Jacob Javelin. <laughs> you know, also a huge factor here, JTB. We know he's been getting involved in this little feud, so you definitely know he's, he's out there somewhere watching this. Jaden has to put in put into consideration. You know, he beats Jacob. There's a chance he'll be seeing JTB at WrestleMania. We know Jacob will want nothing more but then to defeat JTB at WrestleMania, defeat Jaden tonight. And it looks like they're wasting no time. Here comes Jaden. And look at this. Jacob caught him. Belly to belly. Jacob jabbing with these street clothes on. And look at this. And look at Jaden. Jaden and Jacob. The brothers going at it. This match hasn't even begun yet. Jacob Javelin. Now just throwing Jaden. And Jake Jaden's gonna roll back into the ring, but Jacob Javelin pouncing him out the ring. And Jacob Javelin's getting fired up. This match hasn't even begun yet. Jacob gonna head out, but there's Jaden with a kendo stick. If this match did begin, it is no holds barred, but Jacob Javelin putting the kendo stick down. And look at this. He's got Jaden in a belly to belly suplex. Jacob Javelin. Oh, what the hell? JTB. JTB! Oh god, watch out, Jaden! Oh god! He just launched him over the barricade! Oh god, there's Andre McAllister, the new owner of WG. Remember, this was also planned. JTB said he was gonna make his his decision, and I think it's about to get made. What's it gonna be? Oh wait, whoa, 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 whoa! JTB! F5 on Andre McAllister! 